You're listening to Tim Bolkley's Five Minute Bible. Yahweh, the God of the Old Testament, had a wife. This is a matter of archaeological probability and biblical fact as a question of history. So, the historical question is did ancient Israelites and ancient Judeans think that Yahweh had a wife and worship his wife as well as him? Yes. Archaeology suggests it, though, as I hinted yesterday, the evidence is pretty slender. It amounts to two lines of argument. There were a lot of figurines of female figures found all around the area that ancient Israel inhabited from the Iron Age. They are most likely goddesses. And the other is this one ostrakon which talks about Yahweh of Samaria and his Asherah. Surprisingly, the evidence from the Bible is much, much stronger than the evidence from archaeology because the Bible time and again tells us of kings who removed the Asherah poles. You can't remove something if it isn't there in the first place. And several times the Bible condemns Israelites who do worship Asherah. You don't condemn something unless it's happening. So in this case the Bible gives us much stronger evidence than archaeology does that there were ancient Israelites who worshipped Asherah and who probably worshipped her as the wife of Yahweh. Now let's look a little closer at the theological question, having established pretty much the historical question. In terms of theology, does the Bible describe a God who is male? Most people's assumption is that it does. But does it? It uses masculine pronouns, but the rule in Hebrew is that you use a masculine pronoun if you don't know the gender of what you're talking about. So for example, if you're talking about a bunch of people, which includes both men and women, you use the masculine plural and in Hebrew it's not just people and animals who have gender everything has a gender and so you have a they plural feminine and a they plural masculine so if you're talking about a bunch of feminine objects you use, use the they feminine but if it's a mixed gender bunch like people you use the masculine so given that you're speaking Hebrew you pretty much have to talk about Yahweh unless Yahweh was quite clearly female you'd have to talk about Yahweh as he. Whether Yahweh is male or whether Yahweh is of no gender, beyond gender, super gendered. So the question is, is Yahweh male or is Yahweh beyond gender? For all of the gods of the ancient world the question was easy because you would look at their statues and the statue would tell you whether the god was male or female. There are certain distinguishing characteristics you may have noticed. but the Bible says that Yahweh must not, may not, be pictured in this way. So how would you know if God was male or female? Now wait a minute, I said you look at the images. So what is the image of God? In Genesis 1 we're told. In the image of God he made them. Male and female he made them. The image of the God of the Bible is in both male and female. This God is not either male or female, but his image is found in both. And again, the Bible uses masculine pictures of God. God is a warrior, God is a judge, and so on. But it also uses feminine pictures of God. God is a mother, and in Genesis chapter 3, God is a seamstress, knocking up a set of clothes for Adam and Eve when they discover they're naked. The biblical God is not cannot be male. If God was male, God would be like Baal, a god, a male god, a god who is partial and who needs a female god to complete him. And that was the problem with those ancient Israelites who historically, as a matter of fact, worshipped Yahweh and his wife. They diminished God with a capital G to merely a god, like other gods. And that the Bible cannot and will not tolerate. As a matter of historical fact, Yahweh had a wife, as far as many ancient Israelites and Judeans beliefs went. But as a matter of theological fact, the Bible will not tolerate such a God, because such a God is a Baal, such a God is a false God. The one true God is beyond gender, neither male nor female, imaged in both male and female. So if you say that God is male, you are committing idolatry. It's as simple as that. If you say that God is ma male or masculine, in ways that God is not female or feminine, you are an idolater. 
worshipping a false god and not the god of the bible